This video is brought to you by Exoterra. Hey, this is Kale, the Venom Manager for the Phoenix Herpological Sanctuary, and today we are at a rattlesnake relocation training class. So we have been teaching these for over 20 years, and we teach homeowners and businesses how to safely relocate rattlesnakes out of their yards or businesses. So these are one of my favorite things to do. Uh, we're gonna be teaching people. Sometimes they're very, very scared. Sometimes they have, well, most of the time, they have really big misconceptions, like they think rattlesnakes will chase you. So we're going to help lower their fears. We're gonna teach them how to use proper tools and how to safely remove rattlesnakes. What we did recently was we actually sent out a bunch of online surveys. And so we did this for two years and we were asking people if they feel more comfortable after they took these training classes and the results were really, really good. And so we took all of that data and I was actually invited to speak at Venom Week this year. Hey, this is Kale. I'm actually here in North Carolina in uh, Durham, right here in front of the convention center. Uh, this is for Venom Week 2024. Super excited, a little bit nervous. Uh, Venom Week is a really big deal. It's the uh, first time I've ever spoken at a symposium of this size. Uh, wish me luck, here I go. My name is Kale Morris. I work for the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary. And I'm gonna be talking about some uh, training programs we do where we teach people how to uh, work with rattlesnakes. And we have developed a model uh, that we believe will help reduce snake bites. Over a two year period, I collected surveys from the participants. I got 93 people that uh, did this online survey. I asked them uh, basically how comfortable were, were you moving rattlesnakes before you took the course and how comfortable after. 2% before were comfortable, 55% were not. Uh, 21 were scared to death. Combining the comfortable, very comfortable, ended up to 22%. So after the course, 64% felt more comfortable, 2% were not comfortable, so didn't, wasn't able to reach everybody. But I really loved the 0% were scared to death afterwards. Uh, I felt really good about that one. But if you look at the overall, you know, comfortable, very comfortable after the training, it was 97%. And I think it's because we were giving them the tools they need, you know, giving them safety, and, and it works. Thank you. After a recent course, we asked some of our participants their thoughts concerning the training class and how comfortable they felt afterwards. And so now that you are trained and you know how to use proper tools and stuff, uh, do you feel more comfortable working with rattlesnakes? Absolutely. So I've just moved to the Arizona area where I've encountered scorpions, rattlesnakes, all sorts of things from the desert. The most scary thing that me and my family have encountered so far has been the rattlesnake. Doing this course now, I've got a completely different outlook on them. They are not aggressive. Understanding how they behave and kind of understanding how to behave around them has made me feel super comfortable going back home. Yeah, I have like all my like fears of, oh, will it jump at me and this kind of stuff. And you guys cleared that very well and made it a very comfortable environment. So as you can see, this really helps people overcome their fears and feel more comfortable doing something that is perceived as being very, very dangerous, but it, it isn't when you use proper safety tools and equipment. And so that's one of my favorite things about teaching these classes is seeing people leave happy, encouraged. They're, they're very, very positive, like, I can do this. And, and that's what really why we do it. So people can be able to remove a rattlesnake out of the yard safely and feel like they're not gonna get hurt. And so I, I just love it. This is one of the best programs I think that we teach here at the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video or like to see others like it, consider subscribing to stay tuned for more content. As always, thanks for watching.